I'm finna bow. Hey, 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 shy pussy. I'm so sorry, y'all. I didn't finish recording yesterday. Like, I got so busy and totally forgot. Um, but where I left off had pre out went good. The way it was, like, real quick, I probably only did like 35 to 40 minutes. Like, I was in and out with that 35 to 40 minutes. Um,. But yes, this morning it is surgery day. Y'all see, I got my wedding ring on, no earrings, no nothing. With the wash up, with this handy dandy soap, and I'll get back to y'all when I get there. I'm so nervous. Oh my god, it's time. Let me hear y'all. Today is surgery day, honey. It's time for me to get snatched. So, right now, I just got out the shower. I can't put like nothing on my skin so I'm ashy as hell. I'm about to throw my robe on. I got on like this night now. I think I'm about to change it. Cause they did say basically basically me aesthetic told me to come ass naked with a robe on. So I think I'm just about to listen to them and just do that. But y'all about to see me make my so let me hurry up and do that because I got to go. Hey y'all, so I'm in the back, finally. I had to wait off that hour, which isn't too bad. I mean, I expected that, but I'm in the back. <sighs> My nerves going still crazy. <clears throat> I'm more calm now, because I was talking to like one of my surgery sisters and she really helped me stay calm, so that's good. Um, I got on my little gown with the fresh socks and all of that. <laughs> and, but yeah, not bad, y'all. But I <clears throat> got my compression socks on. I just peed in the cup for them to do my drug test, my nicotine test, and my pregnancy test. So yeah, I'm supposed to take this polish off. It won't come off. So I'm hoping that they don't say anything because it's gel. But I mean, I should have brushed my lashes. But I mean, if they do. Okay. 
okay, whatever. But I mean, if they do, I'm just going back to bitch off because it's an overlay on my nails, but I gotta do what I gotta do to get my surgery. I mean, that's just that on last, period. But I'm here. I'm about to lay back, close my eyes, and just. Ooh, sa, ooh, sa, okay? Next time y'all see me, I'm gonna be fucking snatched. Like, huh? <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna be snatched, period. Oh, let me show y'all the before. I'm gonna show y'all after he marked me up. He marked me up. I don't want to show too much, but y'all see it. Like, he marked me up and all of that. We're going to get into it, honey. On to the O-R, period. How did you, how you feel? I'm in pain. You don't have anything to put in the car? Uh. Uh. I will see you tomorrow, sweetie, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right here. Thank you. Where the flash at? It's okay, they just wanted this dark version. I remember hearing y'all. But I'm just like really, really sore and so tight. So tight, y'all. Told you you ain't look as bad as these other people. Is my booty fat? Yes, it's fat. That booty fat. That booty fat, y'all. Please, babe, don't drive too crazy. I'm in pain, y'all. It's not crazy pain. And I know once I take this perk, I'm going to feel better. But man. I'm in pain, but base said that booty fat. I made it to the flat side. Oh, my stomach is very tight. Very tight. Mm -hmm, babe, I gotta eat because my I'm, I'm nauseous as fuck. You think the perk gonna make you nauseous? Can you break it in half? I got the calves, I got the perk, I got the, the thing to make you poop. Daddy got everything and I got for the me. Muscle I love him so much. My daddy, not daddy. That's yeah. what he already calling. All right, John. Let me um. I'll get back to y'all. Okay. <sighs> hey y'all. Made it to the flat side. <laughs> Basically, that ass is fat. Okay. <laughs> I'm super excited. My pain medicine is starting to kick in. Obey! I forgot to get my other medicine for me. Let me text him. I don't think he heard me. And like, it definitely hurt to talk. But I wanted to come on here and talk to y'all real quick. My motherfucking throat will hurt, y'all. Hurt. Mm. Mm. I for, you, you forgot to give me the gas band. Can you just give me the other half of that for? <laughs> oh, because I feel the other one kicking in, but it's still kind of, like, you know, uncomfortable a little bit. Or if you don't want to give me that so we can preserve them, just give me two Tylenols. Extra strength joints. That's over here. <clears throat> no, I'm saying because uh, Dr. May. Uh, I can't hear you. Okay, baby. I said okay. All right. Well, <sighs> mm. yes, y'all. I made it to the flat side and the fat side. Hurry up. Come on. Really talk to y'all and tell y'all how everything went, my experience and stuff. That's gonna be in the next vlog. I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit, of course, in this vlog, so y'all have an idea on how I'm doing and all that. But <clears throat> I'm sorry, I keep looking up because my viewfinder right there, and I look about crazy as hell. My lips look big as hell. My eyes like 
I'm definitely swollen because, like, look at my fucking eyes. <sighs> but thank you guys so much for tuning into my journey. I promise you it's going to be raw and uncut. I'm not doing none of that shit. Like, y'all going to see everything. <sighs> right now, it's hard to talk because I can't breathe. <laughs> and my faha is, like, on oh, for real. And I mean, my pillow is like right under my neck, so. Okay. Right now. Right now, um. I'm about to watch a movie. I'm probably nine times out of ten gonna go to sleep. Baby bought me some pineapple so I can take those. Cause I can't really eat the soup right now cause it's like my throat is so scratchy. Babe, you forgot the medicine. I didn't forget. Oh. Okay. But yeah, um. Y'all, at this point, I just want to go to sleep. For sure. So, yeah. I'm about to... <laughs> okay. My mommy's coming. Y'all know I got my daughter with me, and she was like... You know what? I'm going to tell y'all that. Once I'm, like, up and moving. So, give me a little bit, and I'm going to tell y'all. Because my daughter almost made me cry. She was literally screaming for me Like as soon as she saw me walking around that corner Like she was screaming for me And that shit is breaking my heart Because as soon as I come in the door I be right with my duty babas There go mommy Hi mommy Yeah Mama about to feed me uh... No it's fine It's too much I'm about to eat some of this soup y'all And I'm gonna get back to y'all okay Love you guys. Get behind me. Uh huh. Get behind me. Uh huh. So they get a clear view. Okay. And just, you know, slowly go down. Uh huh. Oh, wow. Yeah, I see. You see how it weighs? Yeah, it's thin. It's patting in there, too. Wow. Yeah. You can see that blood. How my hips do? Everything looked like he did a good job. Oh. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-h
Open the bag, Khalid. You got to close. Show it, show it. It's all kind of You want it raw and uncut. Y'all, my face is swollen. This goddamn black she is so. Did you use the bathroom yet? No, no, it's drying me out. Don't lay down. I just wanna just do this just, just in case. Got a sheet. Right, go ahead and pick. stand up and we'll see. Go ahead and pick. Let me stand up real quick. Thank you. There's some. <laughs> just grab my arm right there and I'll do the room. Uh -huh. Oh, oh. oh. Okay, now I'm gonna try to pee. Oh, it's fine. I blurred it out. Oh, he's right there. Oh, I gotta wipe it down. Oh, oh, there we go. Is it getting in there? Good. Yeah, it's getting in there. It's in there. Ooh. Oh, there we go, Mom. I got it. Just hold that. Thank you. Yeah. My pee is always dark, so don't be lying. Oh. 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 Yes, that's better. You're. <sighs> you are gonna see the raw and uncut. You ain't got some of my pants, man. Well, what color is this? That red? Red. Mm -hmm. uh. So I'll grab this way. Like myself. Mm -hmm. Alright, let me help you. Mom's mm -hmm. gloves, mom's gloves. So they have to help to. you. Don't ever want no help. I do want help. You need to do everything yourself. No, I don't, mom. My mom on my ass, y'all. Alright. Just gonna walk around climb. the room. You you don't wanna climb on this bed? No, I'm gonna walk. Uh, You don't want you. You said raw and uncut. All right, you guys. She want me close out now. I gotta clean up. I'm gonna clean her up. We'll talk to you guys later. Okay. I ain't looking like shit. Hey y'all, so it's about, what time is it? It's, oh wow, it's 7.28. I'm still down. Yeah, I'm still down. Um, it's easy to, like, stand up on my own. I walked only once, and I've been, like, lifting my legs and, like, shaking them out and stuff. So y'all, I had to just come in really quick because, as you can see, the medicine and everything started to kick in when I was trying to talk to y'all, and it was over for me. Like, lights out. I seriously <laughs> started passing out on camera, and I was asleep, y'all. Let's just say that after me falling asleep, <laughs> I literally had to edit out 35 minutes, okay, of me sleeping. Craziness, but enjoy the video. I'm out. Because Mejio told me he was doing very aggressive lipo on me. Because, like, me having a baby, I guess it was just, like, stubborn fat. He just needed to, like, really work it out. So, since he did really aggressive lipo on me, um, um, he told me, like, you're going to pass out. And when you do, make sure that someone catches you that's number one. <laughs> and also, make sure... 
That's my daughter. She with my mom. And I also want to make sure if you pass out, you stay in bed for the rest of the day. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to listen to my doctor. I'm going to stay in bed for the rest of the day. Um, and that's it. Like, wherever she wants. Wherever my mom wants to sit at with duty. But yeah, that's it thus far. It's been it's been a little crazy roller coaster. But I am saying like I'm I'm okay, like I don't feel crazy. My mom got it. My mom has it, it's in the back. Hey y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am one day post op. Thank you. I'm one day post op. Um I just had a massage. I feel a lot better. A lot. My face the swelling went down a lot. But now I'm about to get my second massage from the best of the best. I'll leave all their information down below. Um, it's really true. When you get a massage, you feel a lot better. And drinking pineapple juice and stuff really helps. So listen to the instructions that the doctor gives you. But I'm going to get set up and I'll get back to y'all in a minute. So, I just wanted to pop back in and tell you guys, like, right now, what I'm getting done is a lymphatic drainage massage. These are very, very, very important and crucial to recovery. Like, when you swell up really bad, you want to get a massage so that you can drain all of those fluids. And honestly, it makes you feel 10 times better. It does hurt, but it's, like, it's definitely worth it. So you just see her here. She reopened my incisions so that everything can like really, really come out. And she was just draining me so much. Like, I know it's hard to see, but I had to blur out for, you know, nudity reasons. <laughs> Don't want to get flagged or anything on YouTube. So yeah, um, when I stand up, you're going to see a lot more. Like the whole pad that was under me was covered, covered with fluid. And your fluid starts out like this bright red, and then it gets lighter, and then it turns to this yellow, and then like clear. Once it's at that yellow oranges stage, that means you're like safe and ready to go home. You're not like at risk for anything super crazy at that moment. So yeah, she was just draining me, draining me like, but do y'all see that silhouette of my waist though? Like, sh man. Dr. Mejio snatched me, okay, period, in the ass, like, woo, honey, we ain't even about to talk about that. <laughs> and she was just checking on me. She was very, very nice. I went to the squeeze lady. Um, This is one of her associates that works for her. And she was very, very nice. Um, She made sure that I kept drinking pineapple juice throughout the massage so that I wouldn't feel lightheaded or dizzy or you know, faint and stuff like that. Um, she was just like, is the pressure too much? I can go lighter. But honestly, I like that she was applying some pressure during the massage because, oh my God, if you can see that fluid, like look at my inner thigh, you'll see like something red running down it. That is the fluid and it was so much. Like after this, I laid down for 30 minutes because you, you can be out of your five or typically one to two hours a day. Um, and I just take mine off only to do number two and to shower. That's it. So, um, damn, I lost my train of thought. But she really was doing her job. Like, seriously. Oh, that's what I was saying. Right after this, sorry guys. I was very, very um, comfortable. I laid down for 30 minutes. Um, and then I got back in my Baja because I didn't want to risk swelling up as big as I was. So that's another thing. Like, <clears throat> when you take your Faja off, you're definitely risking yourself to swell up. Swelling is normal, it's going to happen for months. But to minimize that, 
you want to keep your faha on for 23 hours a day like legit and your phones and your boards all that like look at that waist snatched snatched and she was just squeezing y'all mm, getting it out But yes, this is me getting my lymphatic drainage massage, so I'm going to let you guys enjoy. Let me see. Huh? How you feel? I feel very um not dizzy but like, like overwhelmed. Super tight, stiff. So I'm trying to and out of breath, of course. I'm trying to um walk. So give me some circulation because when I walk it helps with the swelling. It don't hurt as bad as laying down. Laying down is not comfortable anymore. And I've shrunk a whole lot. So my fire hot is not compressing me at all. So I'm swelling up in like 2.5 seconds and it's hurting like hell. And it's really hurting in, in my back. So being as though I'm not getting enough compression, it's making me very dizzy and lightheaded once the fluid comes back. So me and my mom are about to go to the Faha store because like, that's crazy. You should not have this much space in here. That's just giving it room for me to swell up. Why didn't me and Excedis give you another fine like once they seen how big it was? Because they told me that's a good question. They told me I need the rope. Sorry, y'all. When I was at pre-op, they told me being as though my high and weight, I needed a 2XL, right? So I said, okay. They said, but for more comfortableness, I should get a 3XL. I said, well, I'm going to just let Dr. McGill be the judge, right? This man puts me in a 4XL. Now, I do got a lot of booty and a lot of hips, so I understand why. But it's not compressing where it needs to compress, which is my stomach and my lower back. Well, my whole back and my stomach. So, and my father is so big, I had my husband had the, and my mom had to crisscross my straps just so that the damn thing would stay up. And it still ain't up enough. Like, it's still, like, you know, like, so, me and my mom is going to go get another one because. I was trying to lay down and just relax, but I can't. I'm swimming up too fast and it's hurting me. Did they show you how to put your pads and boards in? They told me how, but they didn't really show me because I couldn't put my fire back in. So I'm going to take them. I'm going to keep everything in. So when we get to the fire store, I'm going to ask them there to help me so I don't know how to put them in correctly because I know nothing right here is compressing like my hips or nothing, but my hips, like I got lats, so they come out like this. And I feel like my backboard is putting a lot of pressure on the top of my crack, and I think it needs to go up more, but I don't know, so 
I'm going to ask them. Because I don't want to lose too much. I know I'm going to lose some of my fat. I want to preserve as much as possible. I've been eating broth. Today I ate some noodles and the soup. So I just Hey y'all, me and my mom made it to Pretty Girl Curves. My lashes look so crazy, please ignore it. Come on. She walking me in now. So this is Pretty Girl Curves. What happened? No, nothing. Oh. This is it, y'all. We're walking in now. Hi. Girl. She a YouTuber too, so. <laughs> <laughs> Brush your hair. Oh my, you and my butt, that hurt. I don't gotta make sure you're listening. Yeah, but I'm gonna get in, don't touch me. That hurt. Right here, it's next to Starbucks. So we're here, we made it. American All the Fajas. It's time to get a new one. The Squeeze Lady, they told me I need a smaller, like, stage two with the mesh because this is huge and it's not compressing anything and it's making me feel worse than I see. I should. I see. Like, I feel horrible because of how much room is in okay, here. Okay, no. So, um, what did you have done? A BBL? Um, BBL LiPo 360. Okay, mommy. You want to do something short or something long? Um, well, he did add a I would, in my head. I would say so stick with long. Long? long? Okay, yes. long? Like this. If you do knee let Oh, because you had inner side LiPo. No, I didn't. He, um, oh, okay. just added something. Well, he <laughs> kind of did. Oh, okay. Right there. <laughs> so, the long one, if you didn't have inner side LiPo, it's going to feel a little bit tight because it's meant for girls that had inner side LiPo. Okay. So Well, right I didn't. He only added fat to, like, my hips down in here. He had to add a little bit on the outer sides of my thighs. Yeah. But not in the inner. No. Oh, I already okay. had all that. <laughs> just she big I'm anyway there. <laughs> natural now. big and then you can um take your bottle okay so this is the lady that's helping my daughter now can you put your hand up because that incision on my back oh, right there okay hurts so you good hold me like this yes. okay so yeah. we go based off of your measurements and this will be the long one okay so pull from here as soon as um we start pulling up, you're gonna start feeling like if it's tight, like if there's some type of compression. Okay. So you're gonna get kind of like panic. Okay, so should you think in the short Shorter one? one is easier to okay. pull up and it's more that. comfortable, okay? Let's I'm just warning you because I don't want you to even try this on and then yeah. we don't wanna give a garment that we didn't use to somebody else. Okay? Right. No, okay. we try to make sure we we meet your expectation and you go with the one that you have. Okay, okay let's do the shorter one. Then. Okay, this will be the shorter one. It has three rows of hooks, adjustable straps. And yeah, because these straps the are way space too in the big. I have to oh, get that across them. them. Yeah. Just to be comfortable. All right, beautiful. So we're going to go based off of your measurements. I'm going to have you go in the fitting room. If you're not wearing something underneath, I can provide a diaper for two days. <coughs> okay, I'm going to need a diaper. <laughs> 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 All right, now. <laughs> Sure, I'm in my stage two fire because the stage one wasn't doing nothing for me. Y'all see them curves, like, period. Why you got the light on for the people? They could see them. My ass cheeks about to be holding. I got on the diaper, that's why I look like that. <sighs> we just left Pretty Girl Curves. That stage one they had me in, y'all. It was a 4XL. This is an extra large. But I think it was a 4XL down here, and then this is like a small. My ass is measuring at a. She said 46 or 47. Mm -mm. It must be 46. I think it was a 46. I can't remember my waist. Because I don't know. I was just trying to get in this thing. But yes, this is the body. Two days post op. I'm going to lay down. Good. Ooh. 